sisters, brothers, siblings in the Episcopal Church in Northern Indiana, grace and peace be with you and Jesus, the light for all people. Greetings, friends. It's October the 2nd. We're just a little more than a month away from our 125th Diocesan Convention, which will take place on Saturday, the 4th of November, at St. Michael and All Angels here in South Bend. Uh, it's exciting to be planning for that. I want to say a word of thanks to Canon Michelle and to Canon Christopher, who've been doing good planning uh, to make it possible for all of you, and specifically our delegates and clergy, to gather in South Bend at St. Michael and All Angels for our convention. The theme for our convention is going to be around creation care. And I am delighted to share news with you that Bishop Kathleen Bascom uh, of the Diocese of Kansas is going to be our keynote uh, addresser. And she's also going to facilitate a conversation with us via Zoom about the work that her diocese has engaged in as a way of inviting us to perhaps consider doing similar kinds of initiatives. Again, uh, there's more information that, that you can read about on the diocesan website under diocesan convention, and you've received, especially if you're a clergy person and a delegate, uh, communications regarding plans for our convention. I'd like to take this opportunity as well to invite you to consider putting yourself forward for several of the elected positions that we need to elect at the upcoming convention. There are three various bodies that we elect to, the Diocesan Council, the Provincial Synod, and the Standing Committee. The Diocesan Council, we need one person uh, to put themselves forward for an at-large position for a two-year term. For the Provincial Synod, it's uh, three people, one priest or deacon and two lay people for a three-year term. And for the Standing Committee, we need two people, uh, a priest, uh, a presbyter, and a layperson for a three-year term. So uh, we've passed the deadline for people to submit nominations, and so those nominations will need to come from the floor. But I encourage you to consider uh, taking, uh, t taking some responsibility and leadership in our diocese. Uh, I'd like to, to end with a prayer that comes from a New Zealand prayer book focused uh, as we find ourselves in this October fall time on the gift and our responsibility for God's creation. Let us pray. God of unchangeable power, when you fashioned the world, the morning stars sang together and the host of heaven shouted for joy. Open our eyes to the wonders of creation and teach us as your stewards to use all things for good to the honor of your glorious name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.